And we're still going to give five minutes, get people settled down. Everyone buy lots of drinks. We want you hammered by the time the slam comes around. Because the more you drink, the more you... What we're going to do tonight that's different is the scores will not be accumulative. So once you, win, once you make it in a round and you make it to the next round, your score in that round is all that counts. So we're not going to add them up as you go along. So you're going to have to have three strong pieces. Okay, I'm going to drag her up here now. Monica Lee Copeland, a strong, charismatic voice in the recent slam poetry movement and sixth ranking individual in 1997 National Poetry Slam. She's a veteran performer. She recently completed a Black History Month tour in London, sponsored by Farrago Poetry and received an award for Best Foreign Performance for this work. In August of 96, she and three other members of Team Berwyn took second place in the 1996 Nationals after a two-week tour in the Southwest. Troy Patterson, reporter for the Intelligent Alternative, describes Monica during her Santa Cruz performance as a literary analog of Dennis Rodman, an event unto herself who sings, shouts, squawks, struts, and stomps her way through her opening piece. Monica Lee Copeland, let's give it up for Monica. Come on. Um, I never know what I'm going to read before I start, I just kind of like do things, but um, there's one piece that I kind of think of it as my signature piece in poetry, and that's what that clip from that article was about, and it's called Burn, Motherfucker, Burn. So I'll just get that out, I think that would be a good way to start. First up, we'll bring up, this is not a, this is not a scored round, unless you want it scored, you want it scored? All right. Let's hear it for Terry! Yeah, this is this is kind of a complicated poem, and maybe it's not really a sort of environment. But uh, so the mantra is, it's just a fucking slam. It doesn't matter, you know. You score big, you score small. It doesn't matter. So I want everyone to say with me, it it's matter. just a fucking slam. One more time. It it's just a fucking slam. All right, I want to bring back Monica Copeland, and then we're going to go into the last round. Let's hear it for Monica. Come on! Okay, you guys have to tell me now. Serious or fun? Fun. 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 Okay, fun. fun. okay so this poem is about um, growing up in Detroit and the stupid guy who lived on my block. <laughs> A little Camp Larry, the man that got the zero zero. <laughs> Thank you very much. This poem is about sex. For, so for any of you judges who don't want to hear about sex, don't be a judge in this round. I'm not disgusting, and I'm not a bigot. I don't have AIDS or herpes or any STD. I've never even had a pimple on my penis. And I'm not a bigot or a racist. I live in Cleveland Heights. My children went to Cleveland Heights High School. Thank you. <laughs> that was not the poem. You don't get off that easy. <laughs> Please don't use that word, fucky. And I'm not impotent. I'm not a premature ejaculator. I have, I have all my hair. Okay, I want to get this in. This is important. This is called Werewolf. Judge, Judge, please! All right, you're improving, Larry! We have a 0 0.1! We have a 3.2, we have a 6.2, we have a 7.0, and we have a 6.1. We lose the 0 0.1, we lose the 6.0, 6.1, 6.2, 3.2, 12, 13, 14, 15.4 for Larry. Let's hear it. Let's have a couple of 
Oceans of grass. I slipped through the laundry chute and was found crying. As the suds. <laughs> Twenty-five point zero. Follow the poet, not the score. Two more points to go. Next up, we have just Rio. Another brother got shot last night. He didn't run, but he didn't fight. He gave up the goods. The thugs knew that he would. You see. Hey, you applaud the boy, not the ball. Okay. Last competitor for the night is Kevin Webb. Let's hear it for Kevin Webb. Give it up. Me. Okay, that's true. <laughs> Come on, take a little ride with me down midnight highways and city streets. Come along and I think you'll see that I'm a little more than just a little upset by the way things seem to be. We're riding that great gray asphalt serpent into hungry violet skies of overhead street lamps that hover and shine. The stores are all closed now, but the factories still hum. Their glowing faces turn dumb to the road like Easter Island silhouettes. And the sparkling beaded headlight line of cars approaching and flashing by pass to our left and fade away in silent taillight tracers. The sign says this is a light industrial area. Well, we see the industry, but we see very little light. But we smell the solvents and the oils of progress, and we taste the suffering of a thousand souls who tend this rattling ancient engine with... Wow. Here we go. Here's a pause for all the poets that got up here. One more time. It's just a fucking slam, all right? <laughs> we have. <laughs> John Michael, we're waiting. We have, we have. Larry M with 59.2. Let's have it for Larry. We got a zero point zero. With a 70.2, let's hear it for Kevin. <laughs> Me, who I definitely want to see coming back to more of these things, at a 72.9. <laughs> the real one won't be able to keep away from me. He'll be back. 74.3. <laughs> Fucking slam, guys. Everyone drink up! <laughs> I guess. How about a round of applause?